Hey everybody, how's it going? So if you are new to streaming or making podcasts, doing anything like that, try Riverside, riverside riverside.fm. It is a great program. I use it on a daily. They also have a mobile app that you can use. So if you want to do it on the go, you're good to go. They also, they have a free subscription and they also have paid tier subscription. And with each tier, you'll be able to get different things going on um so what at the they have one is like 29.99 a month um uh, which is the highest tier that they have um you can record 4k um you can add like a little logo to your video which you're probably gonna see one on mine up here in this corner uh, it it's a great program if you like i said if you haven't started try it out if you have started try it out i'll have a link in the description if you want to go ahead and try it out All right, y'all take it easy. Later. Welcome back to another episode of I'm Too Absent Minded. I'm the host that love burnt toast, Howard Higgins. And this is the show where I will unintentionally veer off topic because I am too scatterbrained. So just sit back and relax and get ready for a random ride. If you have something you want to talk about or if you want to be a guest on the show, you can hit me up on uh, Instagram at I'm Too Absent Minded. That's I'm the number two absent minded or on TikTok as Howard Higgins Jr. So. Now that that is out the way, let me go ahead and talk about some clothing styles. <clears throat> so as y'all know, I'm an 80s, 90s baby. And with that, I still have some of the same dress patterns I did growing up in like the 2000s or whatnot. So I am still rocking jeans, graphic t-shirts oversized hoodies basically all my clothes is basically almost oversized anyway and uh which you know ain't nothing wrong with that you know people wear what they want to wear people wear what they're gonna feel comfortable wearing but like i'm in the process now of changing my style up from going from you know jeans sneakers well i'm still gonna wear sneakers i ain't gonna i ain't gonna front i ain't gonna stop that but jeans graphic tees hoodies I'm still going to wear those, but more more so graphic tees and jeans. I should put it that way. Just, uh, you know, broaden my closet <clears throat> because, as I mentioned, my closet is filled with jeans, jean shorts, which a lot of people be hating on the jean shorts. You'd be like, oh, man, you wearing jorts, bro. You wearing jorts. You know, the first time I heard that, I was like, yo, what the fuck is a jort? I was like, D. I, it was like, what are you talking about, bro? Those is jorts. I'm like, I don't know what a jort is. And then he finally was like, bro, jean shorts, jorts. And I was like, oh, that's stupid. They're just fucking shorts. That's how I viewed it anyway. They're just shorts. But, you know, there's a lot of different styles of shorts. You know, you got, I don't know. There's like jean shorts, uh, khaki shorts, chino shorts. It's a lot of shorts. A lot, a lot of shorts out there, but I'm also weird when it comes to wearing shorts. I don't like my knees out. Like I'm a 1940s woman. Like I can't have my knees out. Like that's just too much skin showing, and I don't like it. I'm uncomfortable. I'm trying to break myself for that habit. Um, when it comes to these little um chino shorts, I've I've been buying up recently. Um, also. With the chino pants, because I bought some chino pants too. Like I said, I'm in the process of changing my style up. You know, look different. I'm in my 40s. Let me look. Let me let me look a little grown. You know what I'm saying? Let me not stop. Let me stop wearing jeans and t-shirts. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just a personal choice on my end. I'm getting tired of looking like that. But and like I said, I, I got some chinos. Um, it took me a while to get into that too because your ankles is out when you when you rock in the chinos and again i'm a 1940s woman 
I don't like my ankles out. I don't like that. Like, if I'm wearing pants, it should cover it up. I don't like it. I'm getting used to it. Because, like, today, I had on some gray chinos, um, you know, white undershirt, and a, a baby blue button-up t-shirt um, with some all-white low-top vans. Uh, you know, looking nice, looking nice. Which is like, do I tuck? Like, I'm, I'm like real weird. Tuck shirts or untuck shirts? Like, with me, it's more of if it's a, like, I guess, like how long the shirt is. Like, if the shirt is a long shirt, then okay, it can, it, it can, you know, go either way. I mean, well, actually, with both types, it could go either way. This is uh, how you feel. But I feel if it's a longer shirt, tuck it in. If it's shorter shirt, leave it untucked. And, but yeah, that's the kind of style of clothing I'm trying to, you know, get to. You know, more of the, you know, chinos or slacks. I'm still going to wear jeans. Still going to have my graphic tees. But that's going to be more like a, you know what? I'm going to wear this today instead of that's just what I'm going to wear today because that's just what I got. Um, also, uh, in terms of jewelry, I have I found out that I kind of like choker necklaces. I found that out randomly. I bought a white choker necklace. Um, you know, it's nice. It's comfortable. I rock with it. I really do. And yeah, so I just like I said, randomly found that out. Oh, I like this shit. This shit is pretty nice. Um, it's it's taking different because I have a a silver necklace that I've had basically. Well, this is my my second one. The first one I had broke, but basically the since for like seven to eighteen years, since twenty twenty years since I've been with my wife. I bought her a necklace, she bought me a necklace, and that was a necklace that we rock. Like, we always have on a silver necklace. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, I kind of like this little choker thing going on. You know, I, I fuck with it. I'm wearing it right now. I like it. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm trying to swap into or switch over to is to getting out of wearing jeans all the time. Not necessarily wearing slacks because... I ain't wearing slacks. Um, you know, I got polos now. I'm starting to venture into the button-up shirt. Um, but yeah, let's so I had a, a a good fashion sense growing up in high school. Well, middle school, I was still feeling myself out. High school had a had a good fashion sense. Had had some children. Had my little children. And, you know, I'm focusing more on getting my kids right and keeping them up with not necessarily fashion trends or nothing like that, but making sure they got everything that they need to, you know, to be productive. So they don't ain't out here looking like ragamuffins. So, you know, what did that do for me? That put my clothes and shit on a back burner. Me and the wife, we was like, you know what? Our clothes aren't messed up. We'll replace them as needed. Um, but I, you know, and kids, yo, kids grow so fast. If you don't have kids, they grow fast. Like one minute they're wearing a size four. They go to sleep. They wake up day in a size seven. You like, yo, what the hell just happened? Like you was just rocking these fours. Now we got to buy all new clothes because they'll be, they'll sit at at a size for like, you know, like a cool, like, depending on the child, like my daughter, she sat at one size for like a good year, year and a half. So I was like, cool, we can keep with this, da 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 da. And then next thing you know, bow. And she like, she jumped up like two sizes. And, um, but that's mostly because she got taller. And, um, so then all of her pants started looking like capris. And, so, yeah, so, you know, we put all of our clothes on the back burner because we want to make sure that our kids are good and our kids are set up, set up for success. But. So, yeah, so my fashion sense have have since dwindled 
And uh, I'm also color deficient with the colors red and green. So any shades of red and any shades of green is hard for me to tell which one is which one. Hell, sometimes, depending on the green, it could look white, it could look brown, it can look gray. Reds, same thing. Browns, uh, the, 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 the shade of it, if it's too light, it could look like white or maybe like a pinkish color. Or But the colors don't look like what they need to be, and which is a trip driving. And so everybody was like, hey, if you color deficient, how do you see traffic lights? It was, it was like, how do, you, how do you stop at stoplights? I said, well, I ain't stupid. I was like, it goes red, yellow, green. If it's vertical, if it's horizontal, the red is on the left, the green is on the right. So I know if the light's on that side, that means I got to go or I got to stop. So it's, it's all a lot of memory. Um, you're just memorizing things. Because, you know, they teach you growing up in school. Well, I don't know what they teach now. But, you know, uh, you know, this is this color. That is that color. This is this. Yada, 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 yada. Down on, on and on and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of things that I know are that color without necessarily seeing that is that color. Like, it's, it's real trippy. Like, some green traffic lights look white. Like, the newer the light. And the older the light, they look white. If it's in the middle, it's really kind of hard to um, to tell. Like, because it, it could look green. See, and the thing is, I don't even know if I actually know what green look like. Like, I know grass is green. So I'm guessing that's green. But I don't know if it's because your mind is, is a powerful thing. It, it it like if you know something is one thing, you're gonna see and you're gonna perceive that one thing as what you was told it is, until you can. I guess I, I don't really know how that works out. I know, but yeah. But anyway, uh, enough of that. But yeah, so I, I just gotta make sure I shy away from greens and reds when it comes to clothes. For one, I'm never gonna wear red. I'm no any shade of red whatsoever. I don't know. That's just something I'm just not gonna do. Um, like I'll buy, and my vices ain't my kids' vices. So just because I don't like reds and pinks or whatever, if my daughter likes pink, okay, cool. We we'll get you all the pink shit in the world. My son likes red, cool. Have all the red shit in the world. That's them. That ain't me. Like joggers, I hate joggers with the passion. I think they look dumb, but that's just my personal preference. That's just my 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 view on it. They look stupid. Kid got joggers. I'll rock her. He could rock them all day. All day. But. Yeah. Changing up my clothes. I forgot where I was going. I, I done veered off one too many times. But yeah. So changing up my clothing and everything like that. So. But it, it's, it's, it's actually, for me anyway, it's a lot more difficult to change up what I'm used to into something new. Like, it's not the fact that I don't want to or anything like that. It's just, it's a little more difficult because I'm used to going to the store. Let me get these Levi's. Let me get these Levi's or these Wranglers. It's not really Wranglers. It's really just Levi's. But let me get them. Let me get these blue, these light blue, these stonewashed blue, these black, because I do got some black jeans, too. And, but yeah, it just all depends. But, yeah, so that, that's, that, that's a difficult part for me. Not can't do it, just difficult. Um, but yeah. So on another thing, why is it that when you when when you take a shower, like you think you in a long in the shower for a long time, like you be like, man, I'm I've been in this shower for at least an hour. When it really ain't been that long, like you'll be in there like this morning. I'm taking a shower. I could have swore I was in there for like forty five minutes, and I was in there for like twenty, like. I don't know what I don't know what it is. Is it because you're enclosed and you don't really see, you know, like a clock? Like I'm very time conscious. I always got I, I always wear a watch. I'm always looking at the time. Um. So am I? Is it because of that? I don't know. Like, do it seem like that for y'all? Like, do you, when y'all take showers, you like, man, it's been a long time. But then it really, in all reality, have it been that long? 
I don't know. It's freaking crazy. And, like, <clears throat> so I don't use Ross rags. Um, now, before y'all be like, eh, you nasty. You just put that soap on your body and your hands. You just hand soap it all over your body. No. I have a loofah rag. That sounds like I was going to say loofah rig, no. But I got a loofah rag. And I wash with that. You know, exfoliates and cleans at the same time. Now, there are times, actually, there was a point in time, whereas with all folks, or well, depending on which folk you are, you know, I use wash rags. Use wash rag growing up. If I'm in a hotel, I use a wash rag. If I'm on a, like a workup or like a deployment or something like that, I'm using a wash rag. I'm not bringing a loofah rag with me because space is limited depending on where you deploy and what you deploy on and things of that nature. So I use a wash rag. And actually what I was going to do was buy them little loofah mittens and I was going to have these little loofah mittens. I was going to be washing my body with the mittens. And um, where the hell was I going with that? I have no idea where I was going with that, to be perfectly honest with you. I think that was just like a random thought that was in my head, and I just put it out. Yeah, that was so weird. Um, Hey, how do y'all like y'all coffee? I'm not a big fan of iced coffee. I like I like hot coffee. I like my coffee hotter than Satan's taint. I like hot ass coffee. But cold coffee or iced coffee isn't bad. Like I've come a, accustomed to on occasion drinking an iced coffee. But for the most part, hot. Hotter than morning breath coffee. Like that hot. Um Yo, speaking of morning breath, why kids' breath smell so bad in the morning? Like, what what in the hell do y'all be eating? Or how do y'all be sleeping for y'all breath to smell this bad? Like, good, googly muggly, your breath stink. Like, my daughter, bless her so love her to death. Her morning breath is harsh. Not not my oldest, not my oldest wholesome one. My 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 youngest little hellraiser. Her breath be punching like Kimbo Slice. That shit would knock you clean the fuck out. And why Why would somebody got bad breath? They want to use extra breathy words. Like, hi, where are you going? Who is that? What are we... Be like, come on now, if you don't stop with these goddamn WHs, stop with these WHs. Say something else. Write it down. Text it. I don't fucking care. Stop with the WH when your breath stinks. Because that, that shit be bad. And I get it. There's even some grown folk. Like, I've met a lot of people in the military, and they breath is horrible. Not just in the morning. How you got fucking 11 p.m. breath at 10 o'clock in the morning? How it smell, how your breath smell like you've been at the bar and eating bar foods all goddamn night at noon. How? How the hell is that possible? You know how it's possible? Bad oral hygiene. Brush your teeth. Floss the motherfuckers. Use some floss. All right, so before I, I, ain't, I ain't perfect now. I don't floss as often as I need to. But goddamn it, I do brush and I do fucking rinse my mouth out with that list of rain, not the brown joint, not not the brown joint, not that original. I'm gonna take the paint off of old Cadillacs list of rain. No, I got the new like cool mint, less burny shit. But yeah, but how your breath be smelling that bad? I get it. Some people got halitosis and they can't they can't help it. I don't know what caused halitosis. I really don't. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with germs getting stuck somewhere and shit just festers and then bow, your breath stank. Um, but for those who don't got halitosis and y'all breath smell like y'all just ate a whole bag of ass, y'all got to do better. 
do better. Carry gum. If you know your breath stink, have gum or mints. And if you don't, and if somebody offer you, hey, man, you want some gum? Take the goddamn gum. There's been too many times where I've seen somebody breath is horrible. And you drop in the hands, be like, hey, bro, you want some gum? Now I'll be like, okay. Then you start tuning, but I'm, 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 I need two of these. You know, I got the extra mint. Let me get that extra mint. Are you sure you don't want a slice? No, no, no. You sure? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. And they get to talking, and then they want to lean in. And why do they want? Why? Why do they got to lean in when they breath stink? Like, bro, talk to me from a distance, or or lady distance. What the fuck is a distance? Talk to me from a distance. Or females. Females like that too. Females, they ain't. They, they can't escape that fate either. Some female breath be hot as a motherfucker too. Be like, good gracious, yo motherfucking breath. They breath just be hot. Drink more water. Do something. Fucking go to sleep, eat a lemon, some shit. I don't fucking care. Just take care of your goddamn stank breath in the morning. And I get it. Sometimes you got a rush morning. You ain't get a chance to take care of your mouth like you should. To a certain extent, that's understandable. A day, like, a, like you know, two weeks, month, or whatever, fine. But if this shit is consistent, if you have consistent bad breath or bad body odor, for one, that body odor is the fucking work. I smelled somebody the other day who smelled like fucking raw onions. I've heard people say people smell like onions. This was my actual first time ever smelling somebody who smelled like freshly cut onions. I'm like, yo, that smells horrible. That smells so damn bad. Like, I wanted to slap this dude across the face because because it was it was in the front to my nostrils. However, comma. Also, some people can't control the way they smell, no matter how much they clean, no matter how much deodorant, perfumes, colognes, no matter how much some people just have overactive scent glands i don't i don't i don't know what that's really called but that that is the case for some people so if if that's the case for y'all that's fine obviously that's fine can't nobody do shit about it like that's just how your body is but if your body ain't like that and you smell like that you got to fix yourself you got to fix yourself too sweet. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit is wrong on so many levels. And how you with somebody if you don't have a medical condition that makes you unintentionally smell a certain way? How you with how your significant other don't tell you, boy slash girl, you stink. You need to go wash yourself. Wash your ass. Not just you gotta wash your whole ass and not just your asshole. Take care of that. Go brush your teeth. Floss. Fuck, I'll get a goddamn dental pick or water pick. Take care of that. Cause I can't have you kissing me and your motherfucking breath smell like baby shark do do to do to do. Nah. None of that. That is that is horrible. Like, there's this one dude I work with. His breath smells so bad, I just wanted to fight him on a daily basis. Like, every day, I could be in a good mood. This motherfucker would come up and be like, hey, and I'm like, man, fuck off. So, I, I, and I'm not even playing. I say that all the time. I got a bad habit of saying the first thing that comes to my mind. And um, a lot of people be like, yeah, that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. You need to. Until you run into somebody who says, the first thing on their mind. And then y'all like, yo, what's wrong with this dude? This dude's an asshole. This dude is this and yada yada, this and that, so on and so forth. So it's not not all is 
glitters is gold when it comes to unintentionally speaking your mind. I just don't really have a filter. I just say what it is I say. And then I think about it later. Or then I'll be like, shit, I just said that. And then I got to make the decision whether I'm going to apologize for it or not. Because I don't apologize for a lot of things that I say. Not because of any other reason, just for the simple fact that I said it because I meant it. If it hurts your feelings, that is now your problem. That is not my problem that I hurt your feelings. I don't mean for it to sound rude, but I can't control how somebody else feels. You control your own feelings. It's your choice to get mad or upset or get your feelings hurt in a certain situation. Um, it just it just is. Like I do my best not to get upset, get my feelings hurt or anything like that when somebody says something to me because I'm not going to have somebody dictate how I'm going to live my life. But that's just me. A lot of people can't do that. Which ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody gonna be how everybody be. We can't have a bunch of everybody doing the same thing, feeling the same way. No. Boring. Monotonous. A lot more killings because everybody actually probably won't be a lot of killings. Everybody got my mindset. They probably man, nah, fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna go on about my business. But you know, I ain't did a pod like I, I switched my podcast up from you know, doing twice a week, Mondays and Fridays to just once doing it on Fridays. And it felt like I ain't did this in a minute. Even though it's only been four days, five days, six days. Some days. It's been a little while. But it felt like I ain't did it in a minute. It's crazy. And I just started. So I don't I could just imagine how I feel with somebody else who's been doing this, you know, consistently for like, you know, years. And if they miss one day, they're like, dang, man. I feel like I should be doing something, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, though. Let me find out. Let me think about it. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know where I was going with that. There was a long ass pause because I was trying to remember where I was at and what I was talking about. But I can't really remember. I think it was something about. Oh, it was. It was about breath and body odor. Like breath, B R E A F. When your breath stank, your breath stank. Like it is horrible. But enough of funky breath and bad body odor, 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 oh, fat tongue, can't even fucking get my goddamn words out, um, pardon all the cussing, I'm just going on a rant here, and like I said, first thing I pop in my head is just what's going on, um, so, car systems, right, so once I find, once I get to my forever car, because I have, I don't have the car that I will have for a long period of time. I've just been having random cars. I've had a lot of cars over the past 17 years. I had a lot of cars. Actually, for the past 20 years, I had a lot of cars. But it's because I haven't found one that, well, I know which one I want. But I don't want to be putting a lot of mileage on it for no reason. Being in the military, there's going moving from one place to the other place you know if i gotta go cross country or whatever because i don't fly i hate flying so if i can't get there by driving i'm less likely to go i'm still gonna go if i got to obviously but i'm driving like i drove coast to coast me and the wife we went from the east coast to the west coast that was a long ass drive long ass drive and we went through Utah. Man, don't drive through Utah. Don't do it. It's a bunch of nothing out there. It It is. Like, if you like scenery and everything like that, yes, it's pretty up there. But it's nothing. I almost ran out of gas driving through goddamn Utah. Like, we hit the border 
to Utah from I think it was what fucking Colorado. I think that's the border that we went through. And um for like the first like I don't know, hundred or so miles, there was no exit. And I was like, yo, we about to we about to die out here. We about to be on somebody hills have eyes movies. Cause we ain't finna make it. We finna run out of gas. Then luckily we find a gas station. Um but uh, anyway, car systems, right? So yeah, once I get my my forever car, I'm gonna get a sound system. Like and like it ain't for me to just be sitting there beating around the block, having an obnoxiously loud going to and from anywhere. Nah, it's just so I don't have to have my music up that loud to feel the rumble. I like bass. I like that little boom. I like that wah 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 Especially depending on some of the song. Like some of the song, you know, that that beat be you be like, yo, that beat is crazy. Just be knocking. So that's why I want a car system. Like it ain't for any other reason and then that. Just to do that. Cause I like that. I like bass. Like when I get a uh uh, surround sound system installed in the in the house. I'm going to have two subwoofers in the, installed into the floor. All right. So is it subwoofer or subwoofer? I don't know. I hear a lot of people saying that both ways. Even like, yo, we got that subwoofer. We got a. I do hear it, but saying it sound dumb. Subwoofer, not a subwoofer. Subwoofer. Hey guys, you wanna check out my subwoofer? My subwoofer? I got it. I got some twelves, some subwoofers in the car, man, in the back, bro. It be knocking, bro. You gotta hear this subwoofer. That's just what I imagine hearing subwoofer. Um, but yeah, no, so so yeah, I'm gonna have them installed on the, in the floorboards because for one, I don't want speakers out and wires out. It does look tacky. So I'm going to have the two subs, one in the front of the living room, one in the back of the living room, installed into the floors. I'm going to have seven speakers in, or five installed in the ceilings and two on, or one on the left side and one on the right side of the room, just for a more immersive sound. Immersive? Immersive? I don't know. Grammar is hard. Speaking of grammar, so, I was talking to my daughter about, you know, proper English. So, she, uh, somebody asked my daughter how she's doing. She said, I'm doing good. I said, no, you're doing well. Superheroes do good. Super? Superhero. I can't even goddamn talk. Superheroes do good. And she said, but superheroes aren't real. I said, and that's why you ain't doing good. And that's why you're doing well. But in the process of me saying this, I said, um, you got to use like good English or something like that. And so the wife was like, after I, after I said that to her, she said, how are you going to say you going to have her use proper English, but you going to say you need to use good English? She's like, that, ain't, that don't make no sense. I said, I said, good. I said, good English. She was like, yeah. And I was like, man, I ain't no linguist. I was like, I messed up too. I was like, but the key point is you can't say I'm doing good. I still say it from time to time because it's it's habit. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm cooling. But, yeah. But yeah, so back to the sound system. So yeah, that's why I want some in my car. Like I said, nothing, like I ain't trying to get no 12s, 10s, Maybe eight just to get that rumble. That's all I really want out the deal is that rumble. That rumble in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got spam and eggs. But yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, what was it? I think a couple days ago, for some unknown reason, I kept walking around this house saying, I'm a doo on your lip. I'm a doo on your lip. I don't know where it came from. And I don't know why I kept saying it. But for the rest of that day, that's all I was saying. 
Like I would randomly say it like three times, like every like 30 minutes to an hour. And I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what came about, how that thought came to my mind. It just popped in. So I I got to say it. I'm a doodle on your lip. And so I was just saying it for a long ass time to the point where the wife was like, would you shut up? I was like, I can't. It just keeps popping up. Like the Macarena. The wife will not do the Macarena. I don't know why. I don't know why. The Macarena is dope. Macarena. Hi. You know what I'm saying? Dude. Pretty dope dance. But I don't know why she won't do it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it on that note. So I want to thank everybody who took their time out. Okay? Okay? I want to thank everybody who took their time out to listen. <clears throat> I want to thank everybody who took the time out their day to listen to my podcast. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to talk about on the next episode. Or, or if I'm going to have another random guest on a podcast. Who knows? But. Like I said, if you have any questions or you want to be a part of the podcast, hit me up on Instagram at I'm Too Absent Minded. That's I'm the number two absent minded or on TikTok as Howard Higgins Jr. And again, it's been fun. I'll see y'all cast later. All right.